Hey, my little goofballs. Well, really, really interesting divergent point here. A lot of it really went through a lot of changes just by like coaster designer. You know, a couple of us were talking getting rid of that massive uh, Wumba tree um, that you can actually see in the time lapse still. Um, that obviously, if you you know saw in the cinematics, it's gone. Uh, what takes its place is a really, really, I think, an interesting idea to have the uh, like a railroad trussle that goes over these rocks, essentially over the cave part that you walk under. I think that would be a phenomenal um, just guest experience uh, as far as, you know, you're coming over underneath these massive rock facades way, way over your head. We're talking 15 feet, you know, uh, way up above your head. And you get to watch, you get to walk under a passing steam train. You know, as all of this is going on, then I bring you into the lemur area, like this really other massive part. This whole East Asian area, um, it's going to feel like a lot of is a lot of it is towering over you. I think that is what's going to be so fun about it. I know that is what's so fun about this entrance area. Um, it's really just the grand scheme of it all. Um, and with the track that will take you through the jungle, you're really, I think once we get deeper into this design, you're really going to feel like you are deep, deep in the jungles of East Asia. Um, that is what's so appealing of this about this to me. Um, there's going to be a lot of shade. It's going to be a dark area of the park. So many trees um, towering over you. Ground foliage. It's going to be. Um, it's like I said. It's going to be really, really thick. Um, this would be a very expensive area, um, I think, to really theme this out in a zoo. That, like I said, we're we're getting so past anything that would remotely resemble like a real budget. Now, this is like the you know this is like a um, this is just like a zoo on steroids at this point. Um, unlimited budget, you know. This is like this is like if they gave Joe Rody an unlimited Disney Animal Kingdom budget. That's what this is now. That's what this has turned into us. Uh, but, the, you know, I think that's what's so fun about it. But, you know, I was talking to Beyond Drew. I think once we wrap this zoo up, wouldn't it be fun to do like a Thornton Hills or like maybe take a pond shrimp route, maybe do an Eden type of, um, you know, what I call her like a natural park. Um, thank you, like, you know, Yosemite Valley, um, Great Smoky Mountain National Forest, um, Cherokee National Forest, kind of closer here where I'm at. Maybe, what if, what if we do that, like, try to come up with a natural park more um, more state budgeted in mind? Um, for, for you guys that aren't, um, that aren't from the, the United States, you'll know sometimes that these parks and these rangers and these programs, um, particularly if they're state funded, they definitely have to um, do the best with what they have because uh, like when, when there's budget shortfalls and stuff, the last thing that they can get money appropriated to um, in a lot of these situations with these states is um, national park funding or zoo funding, um, you know, stuff like that. That is absolutely on the bottom of, of, of everybody's priority list. So I think that would make an interesting um, kind of like an interesting design concept for us to tackle, particularly with, you know, me and the fantasy builds and the no budgets and the no holds barred. Um, I think it would be really fun for us to try a little Eden or like I mentioned, a Thornton Hills or, you know, mass bandit, uh, take the Mike sheets kind of route, really try to rein in all of this fantasy and make it more practical, more realistic, more budget conscious. Um, I think that would be a fun fun series for us and then still maybe tie in to like to cut me a little bit of slack maybe tie in like a wilderness theme or a rustic theme that you know I kind of I love and I'm more known for um, I still think you know we got to leave my options open here but I'm thinking that's what we get into next we try to do us a realistic build um, with realistic goals and budgets and and all of that but um Anyways, I think I didn't record a bunch of time lapse for this. 
Um, I, cause I, you know, you guys know I've been coughing my lungs up here. I'm finally getting like halfway back to normal. Maybe in the next day or two, I think I'll be, uh, I'll be finally over all of this. Um, but so I didn't, didn't really lend itself to a lot of Planet Zoo time, but we did get enough in here to at least get in and talk about the East Asian area. Um, and you know, kind of like the, uh, kind of like the approach we're taking to it. So let's get out of here real quick. We'll jump in. I'll let you see the lemurs. They have no escapable points. And, uh, we'll just kind of talk about this little, um, you know, this little imposing type of interesting area we have going on now. So hold on one sec. Let's jump over to the real time. All right, guys, so here is what we're kind of talking about. And you'll notice the train station now. That is my old resort that I built uh, like the very last day of the beta. And I've just kind of been sitting on it. It's kind of just been a, just a little blueprint that I never really thought I would... Um, that I would touch again. And then thinking about where I wanted the station, um, all of that, I was like, you know what? And so I started plopping it around up on this hill up here. As a matter of fact, I had it over here. Like this is where the original station was going to be. But um, the draw of your eye, like it, over here was so blank. And you're, you know, you immediately would look at this big station kind of out there on that peninsula on its own. And I was like, that's not really that's not eye pleasing. So I thought, okay, let's push this ridge line back a little bit and let's see what like this last little bastion of civilization looks like right before you make your way into the jungle. So this would be like a hopping little train and trade station here. See, I've got a bunch of the little supplies and, and boxes and stuff out here and like the little hotel area. This is your last stop. Like before, you know, you you could freshen up or get you a good night's sleep, um, you know, grab your last good bite to eat before you um, essentially are going to make your way into the dark jungles. So that is a, that's kind of the story behind our little train station up there. So, um, and then of course the coaster designer, I have to give him all the credit for really coming up with this idea about removing that Wumba tree and building this, um, building this bridge right here. A lot of people on Instagram, um, if you don't follow me on there, it's at S Dan Wolf. Um, a lot of them were telling me like, even I had even like model train guys all of a sudden were commenting on my pictures on there or sending me messages saying that looks just like we thought that was a model when you posted that picture um, and they're like what's planet zoo <laughs> so you know I had to go into that whole nerdy spill with them but yeah this is our little trestle right here that takes you over back into the station so eventually we will do a big you know it'll loop back around and uh, you know it'll eventually make its way back and connect here and bring you across the bridge and back into civilization and back into the station and another thing I was telling coaster designer is like look at the roof on that totally coincidental um, but look how it all matches like, okay, you have the big customs house right here, kind of like in our little village area down here and the monorail station and all that. And then look, when you come back up here to the actual resort or to the hotel area, the, the station, look how it all just kind of ended up matching. I thought that was really, really neat, like kind of tying these areas together. Here's your good view right here of all of this starting part of the village and then um, you're kind of like making your way up here and you are on the outskirts of the jungle things are about to get serious yeah and uh, yeah so you walk well we did that kind of quick you kind of make your way if we don't have to go into Teji cam here you make your way under these pillars and then you're greeted by the massive lemur uh, kind of like cove here there goes one and I'll show you here. Whoops, let me back into my menu here. I will show you what we've got going on here. It ended up working out really, really cool. If I can catch one of them. Whoops. Check this out. No escapable points. And even up in here, like up in their little trees and their little nests and stuff, I've built them. They can even jump off and make their way through the two uh, Balboa trees here. 
baobab trees. And these guys have been having a pretty good bit of fun. And it's always fun watching them. I know the lemurs are necessarily more like, okay, Madagascar um, over East Asia. But, you know, I know one, of us, one of you guys, it might have been Hunter C even said, why don't you put the orangutans in here? Um, that might be an option too. We might pull these guys out of here. Just let me know your thoughts down below. He, what he was saying is, maybe go ahead and get the orangutans out of here out of this little area and put them over there on that little peninsula and find something else to go in here. He was even saying maybe it's like do the chimpanzees over here and get these guys um, kind of over in the East Asian area. So kind of let me know what you think about that. And, you know, like I said, none of this stuff's set in stone. I just, uh, I knew I wanted some kind of primate in here. And uh, isn't that pretty cool how you can, I need to actually get that changed, don't I? We've got hyenas on the, we've got hyenas on the board here. I don't know if I can select it without it wanting to, I'll have to play with that. It wants to select the bush. But yeah, so I thought this would be cool. As the people make their way under here, look like, just look how they're all like, all of this that's going on, kind of what they're greeted by. And that just looks so much better than just that giant tree up here. I, I, I thought you guys, like when I was building this, I was like cheesing the whole time. I'm like, these guys, this is, this is looking awesome. They're, they're really going to like this. Um, but other than that, like I said, guys, I have not really messed with a lot at all. Um, the elephants have not had any babies yet. Uh, the zebras, I've got, or excuse me, the, uh, the giraffes, I do, where is she? I've got a little baby giraffe now. Whoops. Actually, where is he? Masood. So he's our newest little resident. You can find him trotting around all over this place. Never really close to mom and dad. He's just, he is happy exploring all of this mischief and these buffaloes and he was chasing around a little baby buffalo earlier but this is uh this is fun watching these guys and like i said if you if you haven't caught this uh, any of these episodes lately um we've i've dug out this little trench now and the uh the giraffes the zebras here comes a little baby zebra <laughs> they can all go underneath the monorail now here comes a little baby. <laughs> They're just trotting all over the place. There's another little baby. Little wildebeest baby. Abby Canal. Abby Canal. Pretty cool. And um, let's see. Is there anything else I need to... Uh oh, they it must be getting ready to. F it's feeding time. Watch them. Look at this. That is a. He almost hits his head. That is a big boy right there. I don't know how he made it under that. Azizi. Let's see what his genetics are. He is huge. Look at this. Look at the little fat buffalo running, rolling over here. Uh, 66%, so, you know, not massive, massive, but still, he seems huge. Yep, time to eat. Um, coming back over this way, um, one of you guys had a really neat idea. If you didn't get to check out the people, um, what, like, where would the guests go video? Um, another, I can't remember the, I can't remember who to actually give a shout out to without pulling up my phone right now. But um, they were talking about maybe getting a, a little bit quicker access over here to Henry in the North American area. And they were essentially saying maybe kind of branch off from the Bonobo area and bring, um, bring the path around over here to the North American area. And that may, um, could essentially free up some space over here. Because um, you remember how like really how bottlenecked um, all this got over here with the flamingos when the people were making their way over here. 
Um, this plaza was uh, was a pretty big mess, and then of course our main little entrance area. There's always a lot going on there. Um, so you know that's just all, all kinds of little weird stuff we can look at. Um, nothing new with the uh, nothing new with the hippos right now. No little babies just yet. Haven't added anything to the town here. I think it's about good to go. Um, still haven't done an enclosure right here. We got to get that worked on. Um, got to start on the cheetahs. Um, some of you guys wanted to see some. Um, what did you guys want to see? Let me just see here. Um, soon as I see it, I'll be like, yeah, that was it. Um, not the Gila monsters. Komodos. A lot of you guys were wanting to see um, the Komodo dragons. Uh, maybe we can make something happen with that. I think that would be fun to get them some kind of island going. Um, remember from the last update, the lions are starting to have cubs now. So they've got some little ones. There, look, there he comes. Coming to eat with dad. Three little fat cubs. So um, there is a lot, a lot of happening in our little have uh, happenings in our little zoo here um, and if I pan way out you can kind of see how massive all this has got and quick review this is your main little entrance area you've got the uh, the whole um, the Bonobo exhibit you've got right here you've got the greater flamingos you've got the gharials you've got the North American area with Henry the grizzly bear you've got like the wolf's den here you've got the uh, bison plains and we've got uh, Waylon here our Formosan black bear that we're pretending's like a uh, an American black bear <laughs> uh, over here we've got our first animal we've got the uh, the crocodiles a gunge and his mate, we've got the Indian rhinoceros, we've got the lowland gorillas, we've got the hippopotamus paddock, we've got the, uh, the huge African savanna area here. All of this that you see, this path kind of come through here, this, remember we just zoomed out, this encompasses one big giant shared exhibit. You've got your Western African lions. We've got the newly formed, um, kind of like our, our, our elephant area. We've got the hyenas. We've got the lemurs for now, kind of pushing off into our East Asian area that will um, eventually kind of bend back around this ridge and it will butt up against um, some of the North American kind of backstage area, if you will. Um, so yeah, that is, uh, that is what we have going on. The bisons are usually um, kind of holding up our trucks. Uh, so, you know, you'd have to look out for that. Uh, we've got Waylon over here. He's kind of just hanging out. I know we keep saying we got to get him a mate. Um, I've got to go through my comments on two videos ago because remember you guys have uh, have named a bunch of the animals that you want to uh, you want to be named after stuff. So I've got to get in here and do that and get you guys named. Um, so I haven't forgot about you. We will uh, we will get in here and take care of that. And uh, I think that's all I have to tell you for now, guys. We will roll into this, hopefully get another video out probably tomorrow, kind of pushing further into the East Asian area. Kind of depends on how quick I get home and kind of start messing with stuff. Um, if we have to, we'll make it a Thursday build. But I think I've got enough ideas rolling to, uh, to probably get us an episode out uh, tomorrow, hopefully. But um, anyways, like always, thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out with your old boy. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you. See ya.